Hey guys, welcome back. So today I thought I might share with y'all just a little haul of some things that I've gotten for the new house. And as I'm going and sharing some of these things, also talk with you guys a little bit about my future decor plans for the house. Um, I'm gonna change things up from what we have in our current house. So the process will be gradual and will take place over likely years. I'm not gonna just rush out and buy all new furniture for every room and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I've been very inspired and uh, by the home itself. She is beautiful. She is a grand lady. Uh, she is, she's old, she's an old lady but she is also absolutely beautiful and a place that I hope that I might be able to grow old in. Uh, we are hoping that this will be our forever home. And so I really wanna take my time as I'm decorating the house and I really want to make it something that is classic but modern and something that can sort of Stand the test of time. I don't want to feel the need to redecorate every five to 10 years completely. I love adding new things and trying new things and changing paint colors here and there, but I don't want to feel the need to do a total overhaul by going really hard and heavy on a super trendy uh, decor style. One of the first things that I picked up is this book from Amazon, My French Country Home. So like I said, she's a grand old lady and once we move and everything, I'll give you guys a full tour of the house. I'll share with you my plans and that will meld together and hopefully help to make sense of some of the stuff I'm talking about today. But with the way that the home is already laid out, the exterior style of the home, the property, the gardens, things like that, I just get this very like French country modern vibe. Um, I've been doing a ton of research into different home styles because as you all know, I am not a designer. I'm not an interior designer. I'm not a designer of any kind. And so I really, but I do love interior design. I do love decorating rooms, um, but you know, I'm no expert. So I just, I like what I like. And so for this home, I really feel like this French country modern though. But like I said, I'm gonna lay out some more of those plans in future videos, go into more details, um, share with you guys paint swatches and just all kinds of different things. But for the sake of time, let's just do the haul portion of this and then in future videos, I will get more deeply into room planning and colors and all of that. So I was very inspired by this book that I picked up um, on Amazon, My French Country Home, Entertaining Through the Season. So this is by Sharon Santoni and uh, Beautiful, it's absolutely beautiful. I love just sitting down at night after the kids go to bed and grabbing a little cup of tea or a drink, a coffee, something, and flipping through this book and just looking at the beautiful pictures of her home, her property. Um, it's just absolutely stunning. And the flowers, the gardens, especially like fall and looking ahead towards Christmas, the sections she has in here about Christmas decor and it has some recipes and stuff like that as well. This kind of stuff gets me very excited um, for the holidays in our new home. And then the other book that I picked up, this is also from Amazon. This is French Country Cooking, Meals and Moments from a Village in the Vineyards. And this one I have not had as much an opportunity to flip through, but it is mostly just a recipe book, uh, but it has a lot of very traditional sort of French country meals and meal ideas and uh, you know quiche with bacon, uh, tartlets, a lobster bisque, which I can't have because I'm allergic, an onion soup that looks absolutely delicious. So many delicious looking recipes in here. I thought these books were also just very beautiful to sit out on the coffee table. Uh, we'll have a few different areas where these books might eventually be able to sit out at the very least on a shelf until my children will not destroy them. That's the name of the game with decorating and kids is what can I get away with that my children will not destroy. And some things will just have to wait till they're older before I can actually do them. With that said, I got a 20% off coupon to Anthropology on my birthday. They send you a 20% off your entire purchase, which is kind of a big deal at Anthropology because their stuff's expensive. So I saw this mug and I 
I just looking for little pieces that inspire me, little things that I like the color palettes of um, that I can just sort of use for inspiration as I'm decorating different rooms. And I saw this mug and I just thought she was really, really pretty. It's got kind of a little leaf here on the handle. On the inside, it has a little bit of writing here that says forget me nots for everlasting friendship. Looks like these mugs were a collaboration with Sky McAlpine and Anthropology. They had some different patterns and stuff, but I really liked the colors in this one. So I grabbed this little mug for inspiration. And then along that sort of same French country vibe, I saw this. It was on clearance or sale already, I believe. Um, and I thought, oh, that would be so cute. It's a little tray that says fromage. So I just really liked this. I like the black and the gold um, and the creamy colors in here as well, particularly in the kitchen area. Um, so I really thought this was super cute. And I am looking to step up my uh, entertaining game, my tablescape and things like that. Sorry, I'm trying to find a safe place to set that down so it doesn't break. Uh, I'm looking to step that up a little bit, you know, as we have people over, especially because we're moving away from a lot of people. And so we will have friends coming to visit and coming to stay with us and things like that. So I want some options um, for serving dishes and stuff. You know, I hate to say like big girl items, but kind of, there's a lot of like kitchenware and serving things and stuff that I've just never prioritized buying. Um, and I feel like I would like to have some more big girl items in my kitchen, some more grown up items, um, that sort of thing. So saw that tray and loved it. Now, speaking of inspiration. So I don't intend to do much on the walls of this house. I do intend to stick with uh, very sort of neutral paint colors. Again, we'll talk about all of that, but I knew that for sure I did want somewhere in the house there to be some kind of bold pop. Um, in our current house, you know, we've got this really deep blue in the dining room that I really like. Um, and I, it's just sort of like one of those things that I, I feel like kind of gives some anchor and I just really, really like having something a little bit bolder. And so when I saw this wallpaper, this really spoke to me because I am the kind of person that I like something that on its surface seems really pretty, but it has this element of like excitement and something hidden within it. Uh, I just, I love that. So this wallpaper is everything. I'm so excited. So from a distance, it just looks like this beautiful kind of blue flowery print wallpaper. But when you get up closer to it and you begin to make sense of what you're looking at, you see that in it there is uh, like this sort of abstract looking horse and what appears to be like a jaguar leopard type animal. So when I saw that, when I zoomed in and could see the different things that are in the print when you get up close to it, I just fell in love and thought I have to have this. So glad I had a coupon because this stuff I don't buy wallpaper and I don't buy fancy wallpaper because it is expensive. And I will tell you something else. I probably will not attempt to hang this myself. I will probably pay a professional because the last thing I want to do is screw it up and not be able to replace it or have to spend a small fortune to buy more of it. Um, so I will probably pay a professional. Now what room this is going in, I'm not 100% yet. Maybe y'all can help me decide when we do the home tour You can give me your thoughts. I'm thinking either one wall in our master bedroom maybe in the guest bathroom, powder bathroom that's downstairs. Those are kind of the two areas that I think um, that I think it would go well in. The living areas are not, it's, they're pretty open, so it's not really like you can section off one area to put this in. So it will need to go in a bedroom or a bathroom. Um, so y'all have to let me know when we do the home tour what you think, but I'm thinking our master bedroom, especially because I love it so much. I'd love to be the one looking at it all the time. Um, so yes, absolutely love this. Christopher laughed at me. He likes it, but he doesn't really care with, with decor stuff. He usually just trusts me and ends up liking what I do. So, but he just thought it was funny that I, I loved it so much, but I'm telling you when I saw that horse, which, you know, hello, we're moving, we've got property horses. I was like, oh, that's perfect. And then I saw the cat and y'all know, I love like leopard print and animal print stuff. Um, but I love the way this is done. I think it's just done so well and beautifully. And I'm very excited to put this in the new house. Now, speaking of big girl items and stepping up my kitchen game a little bit, I have always wanted some La Creuset uh, kitchen wear items. 
they are very expensive and I have never purchased one. I don't own any until now. I have a Dutch oven that I really like. I, I got that at Target, it works fantastic. But I saw that these were on clearance at Williams Sonoma. And I think maybe it's because this color was exclusive, which it's the perfect, I love this color. It's called, I believe, French Gr I'm gonna take the lid off. It's called, I believe, French Gray. So it is sort of that very bluish gray color. Hopefully you guys can see that. So I got two pieces. I got this two quart baking dish. Again, these items were on sale at Williams Sonoma, which is part of the reason I just went ahead and, and pulled the trigger and got them. Um, but I really, really love them. And I went on their website to see if I was, if like eventually if I could ever afford it to get other um, other pieces in this color, but I didn't see this color on their website. So I think this color might be exclusive to Williams Sonoma, which scares me a little bit that maybe it was on sale because they're not going to carry it anymore. That's okay. If I only got two pieces of it, I only got two pieces of it and that's okay. I'll be happy with those. And then I also got the four quart rectangle casserole dish. Again, you know, I have to say, I really am trying to make sense of it and understand why these are seemingly more affordable than their Dutch oven. Like their Dutch oven is so expensive. I don't understand, but that's okay. Maybe someone can explain that to me why that particular item of theirs is so so much more expensive than Dutch ovens in other places. And I don't know, I felt like these weren't these weren't cheap, but they weren't as crazy expensive as the, some of the other like the Dutch oven pieces are. Anyway, so this casserole dish in that same French gray, I believe is what the color is called. And it's perfect for the design and colors and stuff I have in mind for the kitchen a long term. We're not probably gonna be able to do anything to the kitchen right away, but eventually, eventually. Um, and then I also, just because these were a good deal, got a set of three measuring cups. Again, these are from Williams Sonoma. While I had that order, I got this four cup, two cup, one cup, um, and these are the glass ones. We have some, we do already have some measuring cups, but I really like the glass ones and uh, ours are mostly plastic and some of them have seen their better days. So I got some glass measuring cups as well to add to my big girl kitchen. And this little beauty was actually part of my anthropology order, but somehow I forgot to show this to you when I was showing that. Oh, look, isn't she pretty? Like I said, I'm just kind of slowly trying to be very patient and just grab things when I see them that I really love and that I can envision um, in a space. And instead of a lot of times what I do is just go and see what's available at the store. I'll decide I need to redecorate a room or do something and I'll just go to the store and see what's available and choose from what they have at that time. And I'm really trying to, with this house, be better about just sort of keeping my eye on things um, and different places. And if I see something that I really love and I feel like kind of goes with my overall vibe in the house, um, then just grabbing it and just setting it aside until I'm ready to use it if I'm working and ready to like work in that room or whatever. Um, but just instead of like choosing from what's available at that moment when I decide I want to redecorate, actually just being patient and looking and waiting for things that I really like, things that speak to me, things that I feel like will um, work really well for the plans that I have for the house. So those are all the things I've picked up so far. Like I said, it's not a ton of stuff, um, but it was enough that I thought it would be fun to share it with you guys and just kind of give you, like I said, a little bit of an overall feel for what I'm hoping to do with the house. And I'm really excited to do some more videos in the future. Uh, like I said, sort of sharing um, some of my plans and talking like color palettes for different rooms and things like that. Uh, if you guys are into that kind of stuff, if you like decorating videos, be sure to give this a thumbs up and let me know. And of course, we'll be doing all of the befores and afters as we do the rooms and we will also be giving y'all a tour of the house once we move in and uh, talking about our overall plans for the house, for the property, all of that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of exciting things to come. Uh, we are 
we are excited, but we are anxious. There's just so many moving pieces to selling your house and buying another house and moving out of town, moving to another town, moving uh, to another state. Uh, there's a lot of pieces in that. So uh, these kinds of little things uh, bring me joy and keep me excited when the other parts of it bleed me dry and suck all the joy out of it. <laughs> um, if you've ever bought and sold a home, you know that it's very easy for all the joy to get sucked out of it very, very quickly. So I am just hanging on to these little things that keep me looking forward to our future, to our family's future, to this property, to the memories we're gonna make here. And like I said, to I, I really can see myself. I walked through the kitchen when we were there for the inspection um, and my sister was with me and nobody else was in the house. The inspector was under the house in the crawl space and uh, all the lights were out and it was, you know, the sun was setting and I was in the kitchen and I said to my sister, like, I can see myself shuffling through this kitchen at 90 years old. Like I can see myself in this house forever. Um, and so that's a really good feeling. And especially for somebody like me who has a really hard time sticking with any one thing for too terribly long. Um, <laughs> the thought that I could envision that is a very new feeling for me and one that I rather enjoy and that I'm looking forward to. So I'm going to try to go against all of my instincts, which are to rush in and make everything how I want it right now and just be patient and slow and do things over time um, and do them well and do them the way that I would like them to stay for a good long while. All right, so that's it for today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed a little peek into my decor plans for the house in this little haul. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you've not already. There's so much to come, like I said, and, and I will talk to y'all again very soon. Bye.